Hi everyone and welcome back for another episode in our AI series in Unreal Engine 4. What we're looking at today is adding on to what we currently have which is a guard that runs around or walks around and then chases you if he sees you, such as this. Um, what we're doing today is adding a melee attack to this, so when he gets close to you he'll start attacking you. Okay. Um, before we do that there's one little fix we need to do to our guard AI in this case, um, a little bug I found in my uh, time between episodes and that is in its looping so when the uh, NPC loops around the loop breaks and that break happens because we added the decrementing path index so that when it goes the other direction now the issue was is that when it detects it needs which is the end it's switching an increment path index to uh, a direction value of minus one what we need to do is if we are going to loop this we need to change that back to positive one so it goes around the right direction so to do that it's an easy fix fortunately so we're just going to loop path act, uh, task and in here we're going to add another variable and this could be another blackboard key like we have previously so blackboard direction and i'll make that a blackboard key selector and make it editable and click compile and we're just going to drag it in after we set the path index back to zero we're just going to get the bb direction and we're going to set the value of the blackboard value uh, int to positive one so if it is looping this is going to Take it go back to the start and then carry on in the forwards direction. Okay, so that's that bug fixed. So on to do melee attacks. So melee attacks, um, this will probably be a two-parter. Uh, so we've got to set up the animations and then um, put in the code to make them attack. So for the animation, I've prepared a attack animation just this uh, and this is from the paragon assets i just retargeted the animation to work with the mannequin so it's all consistent um, i'm going to put the link to this fbx file in the description below just click on it and download it um, just click on it and download it and you can use it for your own videos just click on it and download it so with that downloaded and imported in, um, what we're going to do is, I'm going to delete my old montage so you can see how we'll make it from scratch. Um, we are going to create a montage of this animation. So this animation at the moment is a basic just animation file. okay? And what we're going to be doing is adding in a montage version of it. And the montage version of it allows us to do a few things with it inside the animation blueprint um, so up top you'll find create anim montage and it'll just create a montage of it and this is what the montage screen looks like um oh let me give it my old stuff so you there we go so this is what the montage screen looks like um it looks pretty similar okay but um we'll be doing some things on this in a moment um to prepare it for our character so before we do that i'm also going to put that attack animation not just on the npc but also on the player so the player uh, can do the animation as well as well as we can test it so let's set up the inputs to actually test this all out so i'm going to go into my edit project settings and i'm going to find my input settings and i'm going to add a action mapping called attack and this is going to use the left mouse button like so and that'll do so now we're going to put this uh, montage into our characters animation blueprint so to accomplish this we're going to be blending it because i want my character to run run around as well as punch at the same time so i want to take the top half of this animation from the torso up and a add that animation onto the walking and running animation of the legs so to do that we need to create a slot so over here if you are set browser 
you've got anim next to that you've got anim slot manager and on here you can click on add slot choose this and you'll name it something like upper body and to see that slot in action in the middle here you've got default group default slot you can click on that and you can change that to upper body and you can see there's nothing there yeah, you'll probably have to clear this um, playhead out by selecting and deleting it and then you want to go to the asset browser and drag your attack primary onto that timeline so now we've got this in a default group slot called upper body um, I'll click save and that's all we have to do to this montage now we need to go into the animation blueprint so on the if you're using the third person template like I am here I'm going to go into my third person and in BP which was previously made um, by epic and in here we need to edit this to work with our attack animation so that blending how that works is uh, by taking the state machine animation which is coming out of here and blending it by a certain bone with another animation so what we're going to do is use a node called layered uh, layer layered blend per bone there we go so this takes two animations in and with it selected we can choose what bone up here we're going to split the animations uh combine the animations by so the bone we want to use if i go to my skeleton i want to make it from the spine zero so anything above the spine is going to be the um split point okay so let's go back to there and I'm going to go into my branch filters and hit the add element expand it open and here you can type in the name of the bone the bone name has to be exactly the same spelling capitalization everything as it is here so it's a spine or in lowercase underscore zero one like so and that will now take these two animations here and here and combine them at spine zero one so I'm just going to connect that to my result here like so now the issue we have here is I need to take basically the state machine into the base pose like so um, but I also need to take in the um, the uh, montage animation from the slot um, that we set up with the upper body so we need to go into slot here and I can choose what slot it uses up here with the detail section to upper body. Now the problem I have is I need this default state machine to go into the base pose here. But also I need it to go into my source up here too. And you can see I can only connect it to one. So what we need to do, we need to cache or store this animation data. And then use that stored animation data for both this and this. So to do that, you drag out and type in cache, C -H -C -A -C -H -E, new saved cache, and we're going to name it ground locomotion. And I can now use this stored locomotion animation and plug it into both of these. So if I go in here and type in ground locomotion, I can use cached pose ground locomotion. I put that into the base pose. I can also make another one and put that into the upper body slot. And now that can also go into blend pose zero, like so. So now when I trigger the montage, this will play, this slot will play, and it will now m blend these two animations together but by a certain bone. Click compile. And now let's go into the code of actually attacking. So I'm going to go into my first my first my third person character uh, code here and I'm just going to put it down here somewhere and I'm going to search for that input action event I just didn't made and here I'm simply going to go into play montage and I need a skeletal mesh component which will be my character's mesh and the montage to play will be my attack primary a montage uh, which one is it? It's this one. So 
with that now selected, when I trigger this, that will now trigger this part and blend these two together. Okay, so if I go into push play, I can now run and attack at the same time. Okay, it may look a bit goofy, but hey ho, just that's just down to the animations we're using. Right, so that's him attacking. We now need to get the AI to attack as well. So to get the AI to attack, um, we need to set him up so he can attack. Uh, much like we did with our player character here, we need to do that also for the AI. So the way I like to do this is by making an interface. So if I just right click here and go into my blueprints and click on blueprint interface. And I'm going to call this combat interface. And this is going to store generic function names for that I can assign to various uh, AI or NPCs when it comes to combat. So here I can go melee attack is the name of one function. And we can use this later on to make shooting as well and um, other things when we get to it as well. So for now we'll just use melee attack. And that's all we'll need, it's just melee attack there, and we can close that down. If you're going to now find your NPC actor, in the class settings up the top, you now get an option where interfaces, you can add that combat interface we just made. Click compile. And so now if you right click in here and type in melee combat attack, you'll see add event melee attack. The use of interfaces will come into uh, become obvious later on when we start coding into the blue uh, the behavior tree, um, but for now, just trust me. This is quite a neat uh, way of doing it. Okay, it saves you casting quite a lot, which is a bit more optimized. So on the event media attack, it's going to be very similar to what we've done here. So we're just going to go play montage, and there we need a mesh. And the montage is going to be that one. And click compile. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So that will now handle the enemy's attacking animation. Um, we then have to go into the behavior tree and start coding that up and how that works. So we'll save that into uh, the next episode, the next part. Uh, so it's a bit separate, a nice little break here. Uh, thanks for watching. If you have any questions or concerns, please leave a comment below. And if you want to support me and watch the next part right now, you can head over to patreon.com forward slash RyanLady, just like these people have done. And support me there, and you can watch this video as well as many others uh, well before anyone else can. Thanks very much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.